you to Vandergraaf for sponsoring this Road to Recovery video. Visit their website to learn how the Grizzly Drive drum motor increases the reliability and reduces the cost of ownership of conveyor systems. Hello again, Kevin Yannick with Pitt & Quarry. Pleased to be joined today by George Redden of FMI Capital Advisors. George, good to see you. Hey Kevin, good to be here. George, I feel like throughout our Rotor Recovery series, been asking a lot of different folks about highway funding, infrastructure bill. Here we are in 21 and, and there, there was some buzz coming into the year and I think there's still optimism, especially if you're a producer, it would be a big boost to your business to get that kind of funding into the, the equation. But, but I'm wondering here, as we sit in February, what, what are you feeling or what are you sensing as it comes to, to infrastructure? And are we gonna see a highway bill, a big highway bill come forward here in the new year? Right, so good, great question. I, I can tell you we've been wrong along with many people about handicapping uh, infrastructure. Uh, you know, we all, I think, fell to this as a bipartisan issue, um, not really understanding uh, what bipartisan means. So um, when, when the first go around under the Trump administration didn't work on, on infrastructure, you know, after they got the tax law bill, and then they stalled on, on their changes in healthcare, and then they didn't get the infrastructure. I think that that led people to um, be more challenged to predict what was going to happen. Um, you know, we focus on the top line on these things, and we saw bills from the House being very large, and Senate not not as big. But you know, the the real focus is what's in those bills, right? And two questions that I, I think you have to uh, addresses what can it be spent on and who can make those decisions right so you could have a large bill but if it's all going to let's say green initiatives uh, and things that don't impact the aggregate industry and its end users then it's you know doesn't do much on the other hand one of the great things about our industry is when we have an infrastructure bill and we will get an infrastructure spend it's just you know a question of how much and when one of the great things about our industry is we benefit from this concept of having shovel-ready projects, right? Our customers on the asphalt paving and concrete side that are consuming the aggregates, uh, they can get a resurfacing projects, for example, done very quickly. And those are always very uh, popular to see people out there paving the roads. So I, I think when we do have a bill, uh, our industry is gonna benefit fast. The State Departments of Transportation, you know, Ashtow has been looking for, for money. Um, they're depleted to some degree. So anything like that is new big projects is gonna take time for them to rebuild staff, get the engineers, get the projects in the queue and get them out. So that might be a longer term play for the sector. But short term, I think we're gonna have, that it'll benefit the industry because of the shovel ready nature. On the highway bill, you know, we've seen this movie before, right? After the first few federal programs, uh, ice T and T21, and we get the safety load, and then we start struggling, and it takes us from 2009 up to 2015 to really get the next long-term bill, uh, continuing resolutions in between, MAP21, kind of a glorified uh, continuing resolution. So, um, you know, who knows, right? Um, but obviously, we'll be, the industry's lobbying hard for a long-term bill that helps people plan for investment, for hiring, and things like that. I think it's gonna be well into the summer before we have any optimism or really insight into the highway bill. In terms of the timeline, George, I know you've just given a little bit of a sense of it. I wonder, for, for my seat, I feel like we're seeing COVID relief, st additional stimulus dollars. That's the focal point here. And I think most people understand that's where it needs to be. But I, I kind of feel and sense that, you know, maybe infrastructures could, could be that, that next thing. Maybe that's too overly optimistic because as you were laying out four years ago, you know, I kind of remember thinking back in 2017 that for sure infrastructure is going to get done. And once 18, 19 unfolded, I feel like I started to get a little more jaded and, you know, maybe because of the change in administration, maybe because of, of uh, just the dire need to address infrastructure that I'm back on that, that optimism train, but, but yeah. uh, I, I don't know. Do you, do you feel like infrastructure would be next after COVID relief or, I know you just said later in the year, I, I, I wonder, could it still be next? And it's just a matter of yeah. taking that much time to get it done. Right. Yeah, Kevin, I see infrastructure early, 
Later in the year to me is the reauthorization of the highway bill for a long-term bill, right? So it is, it is bipartisan, but it's bipartisan up to a point, right? What's in it, how much, how do we pay for it? But I do think we'll get some infrastructure spend. And again, I think that the, 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 the infrastructure spending that can be implemented quickly and that can create jobs and whatnot, I should benefit our industry, especially on the resurfacing side of things. Thank you to Vandergraaf for sponsoring this Road to Recovery video. Visit their website to learn how the Grizzly Drive drum motor increases the reliability and reduces the cost of ownership of conveyor systems.